China's foreign ministry has delivered a sharp rebuke of the Australian government's increased defence spend. It says China poses no threat to any other country and that Australia should abandon its Cold War mentality. The main security risks in the region currently stem from certain external powers outside the region, forming exclusive cliques in the Asia-Pacific. This creates confrontations between blocs, especially stirring up trouble in the South China Sea, fearing peace and stability. China firmly opposes this. We hope that Australia will correctly understand China's development and strategic intentions. Defence Minister Richard Miles announced yesterday the government would boost defence spending by $50 billion over the next decade. And recruiters will consider hiring non-Australian citizens to help address a defence workforce crisis. A year in the making, the National Defence Strategy lays out a pathway to prepare the ADF for the most challenging circumstances since World War II. What that must demand of us is urgency and focus. As wars rage abroad, Australia's focus will remain closer to home. A whole-of-government approach will equip the ADF to defend Australia and our region, deter potential adversaries, protect our economic connections and contribute to maintaining regional security. We simply have to make the difficult decision to keep the vast bulk of our effort in our region. That is what the world would expect of us. The army will become more amphibious and mobile with the purchase of precision strike missiles fast tracked. Precisely because so much damage can be done to our country by an adversary without ever having to step foot on Australian soil. It clearly puts us all in on submarines and missiles. Total spending will rise by $50 billion over the decade to a whopping $765 billion. That includes $330 billion on military investment. With so much spending on new capability, including nuclear submarines, there will be a $72.8 billion cut to existing programs. Defence funding will be higher under a Dutton-led government than under an Albanese government. To proceed on the basis that we can do it all when no government has ever funded it all is both a fantasy and it's dishonest. To meet its objectives, the ADF will expand and diversify its workforce. For the first time, non-Australian citizens may be recruited to help fill a shortfall of 4,400 personnel. I mean, an obvious place to start looking is amongst AUKUS partners or Five Eyes partners. Pacific Islanders could also be drafted in. A comprehensive workforce plan will be developed by year's end. Cameron Redden, Sky News, Canberra.